Hi, in today's lecture, a video lecture, we are going to discuss about the basic building block of operational amplifier known as difference amplifier. Or differential amplifier. So what is this? So basically in general, I can this is a two terminal uh, four terminal D electronic circuit I have two input and I have two output terminals so over here I can say that this is V1 or V in 1 and V in 2 and the output will be V out 1 and V out 2 and it is called as difference amplifier because if I measure the voltage across these two output terminals, this will be equal to, so this V out will be equal to difference between the input voltage. So V in 1 minus V in 2. Since it gives me the difference of the two input voltages, it is called as differential amplifier. Now, since there are two terminals, what I can do, I can connect same signal to both the input terminal or I can connect different signal to this input terminal. So what I can do, I can connect, let's say, same input uh, voltage. So the first thing is, when same input voltages are connected, is given to both input terminal. If I apply same input voltage to both the terminal, this is known as common mode signal. Since I have given the same input uh, voltage to those, uh, both the terminal, now since output is given by the difference between the two input voltages, what will be the output seen across the two output voltages? Obviously, ideally. I should get V out is equal to 0. So, the voltage across two output terminals ideally should be 0. Right? However, uh, this output voltage is not 0. Right? Practically, there is a small amount of voltage appearing across these two input voltages. So, this is Uh, this is uh, the common mode signal and the, since there is a small amount of output voltage coming across the output voltage there is a gain which is known as common mode gain denoted by AC which is equal to common mode input voltage ah. oh sorry <coughs> voltage across two output terminals divided by common mode input obviously uh, gain is output divided by input so I have to take output over here and divided by input so we'll be discussing about this common mode again. Now, what I what else I can do? I can connect different in voltages across two different input terminals. So, with respect to ground, I can connect one voltage to V1 and another voltage to V2 with respect to ground. So, if I connect different input voltage with respect to ground to two input terminals this is known as differential mode so in common mode what we have in common mode so 
if this is my differential amplifier then if I have connected V over here I am going to connect V over here and ideally the output V out ideally has to be equal to 0 this is common mode in differential mode I am going to connect different input voltages at different, uh, these two input terminals so I am going to connect some V1 over here and I am going to connect V2 over here and these are the output terminals so, right? now in case of differential mode I can measure the output in differential amplifier I can measure the output both across the two input terminals so, uh, so I have common mode input signal and differential mode input signal depending on how I am connecting the input voltages similarly how I am measuring the output voltage depending on that I have two different modes of measuring output voltages the first mode is I can measure output is measured across two input terminals and it is known as double ended output or I can measure output across one output terminal and ground if I do that it is known as single ended output so for input I have common mode input voltage uh, a common mode uh, input and differential mode input and for output I have double ended output and single ended output if it is clear to you let's see uh, how uh, what is this differential amplifier so the circuit for this differential amplifier will look something like this so I have this plus VCC over here connected RL1 and I am going to measure the output over here so this is V01 and over here This is V1, this is V2, this is V1 out, and this is V2. This is my first transistor, this is my second transistor, and over here I will have R3, R4. Generally, R1 is equal to R3, and R2 is equal to R4, and these transistors Q1 and Q2 are identical. So, all the parameters of this transistor need to be identical, then and then only it will act as a differential amplifier now let's see so basically this r1 r2 r3 r4 this r1 r2 r3 and r4 these are biasing resistance plus vcc and minus vcc are biasing voltage 
so we have seen in case of transistor that in order to work it need to be uh, the base emitter junction needs to be followed by acid and the base in uh, collector junction needs to be reversed by acid. in order to maintain that particular condition we are going to use these resistances and these voltages so that's why they are called as biasing voltages and biasing resistances and over here i have some re okay now let's see how it works now suppose this this particular terminal is connected to ground and i have applied some input voltage over here let's say some ac input voltage now when a positive going cycle is coming over here the base emitter junction will be forward biased since negative over potential is connected across the uh, emitter of npn transistor and positive voltage is connected to the base of npn transistor the base emitter junction will be forward biased and there will be a flow of emitter current right and because of there is a flow of emitter current there will also be a flow of collector current and since the collector current is flowing there will be some voltage drop across this particular resistance and this vo1 will decrease okay so for positive going cycle positive input vo1 will decrease now since i is flowing through this particular resistance there will be a voltage drop across this resistance and because of that this particular terminal will be since there will be a voltage drop so this will be less forward bias this q2 will be less forward bias and because of that there will be a small amount of current flowing through this rl2 and since there is a small current flowing through this rl2 v out will be larger so v1 will decrease and v2 will increase right now instead of applying the voltage at this particular v1 if i apply voltage at v2 the exactly opposite thing will happen for the positive going cycle v2 will decrease and v1 will increase right now what happens when the ne negative going cycle appears at the negative going cycle this terminal will be less forward bias base emitter junction will be less forward bias and because of that v1 will increase and v2 will decrease just like the initial case when v1 decreases v2 increases similarly if v1 increases v2 will decrease so uh, now it is clear from over here is that it is clear from this particular discussion that if signal is applied at v1 then vo1 will be out of phase with respect to v1 and vo2 will be in phase with respect to v1 similarly if a voltage is applied at v2 vo1 will be in phase with v2 and vo2 will be out of phase why because if v1 increases vo1 decreases and vo2 increases so increase increase so they are in phase and increase decrease so these are out of phase okay now suppose i have connected one signal at vo1 and another signal at vo2 and both this v1 is equal to v2 what's going to happen i am going to get the same output voltage across vo1 and vo2 and because of that the output v out will be equal to zero so that's what we have seen when i have common mode input this is common mode input the voltage across the two output terminal is equal to zero and if i have different output uh, input voltages let's say i have applied v1 and v2 at input voltage 1 and input voltage 2 that in v2 will be proportional to v1 and v1 will be proportional to v2 and the output 
which is equal to VO1 minus VO2 will be proportional to VO2 minus V1. So basically it is giving me the difference between the input voltages. So this is the basic uh, basic explanation of differential amplifier and this differential amplifier or difference amplifier a building block of operational amplifier so we do not have a, a, a detailed discussion on this differential amplifier however we have a detailed discussion about operational amplifier that we are going to discuss now let's discuss about some of the properties of this differential amplifier so we are going to basically discuss about three properties first property is known as common mode gain and it is denoted by a c c stands for common mode so common mode gain is defined as the voltage across double ended output voltage double ended means voltage measured across the two output terminals so ac is defined as double ended output divided by input voltage but what kind of input voltage since it is a common mode it will be common mode input voltage now as you uh, know that the output should be zero so ideally VAC common mode is equal to zero for a good differential amplifier VAC has to be very very small second uh, thing is known as differential mode gain it is denoted by a d this d stands for differential and it is defined as a d is equal to double ended output divided by differential mode input and practically ADC has to be very very large for a good differential amplifier this differential gain has to be very very large and the last thing is known as common mode rejection ratio so in a differential amplifier if you have a differential amplifier this differential amplifier should reject the common mode signal efficiently and the efficiency of this differential amplifier to reject the common mode signal is given by this common mode rejection ratio known as cmrr common mode rejection ratio okay and this cmrr is defined as differential mode gain divided by common mode gain and since differential mode is very very uh, differential mode gain is very very large and common mode gain is very very small this cmrr for a good difference amplifier has to be very very large so that's it about the differential amplifier hope you understand this particular thing thank you for your time